And welcome everybody here in Twitch Chats and to everybody on YouTube for some Kiora Behemoth Beckoner, our next Brawl deck for today. It's Wednesday, this is Brawl Day here on Arena, so we're going to be playing four Brawl decks as you can see. We didn't do too well with Domri, uh, even though I liked our deck, just, you know, games didn't go our way. Now we have two donation decks here to play in the Brawl format. Uh, this one's built around Kiora and especially Kiora's passive ability. Whenever a creature with power 4 or greater enters under your control, draw a card. So we're trying to ramp. We got lots of, of mana creatures here, as you can see. A whole lot of mana creatures. And uh, we're trying to ramp, get Kiora in play, and then play a whole bunch of... Well, this thing just draws a lot of cards. But then play creatures with power 4 or greater so that we get to draw cards. That's the, the goal of our deck. Um, we also have some like really big top-end cards that, that you get to play with uh, ramping and everything. We got stuff like Mass Manipulation, which is just game-ending. Uh, Hydroid Crisis, of course, is just perfect with Kiora and can draw us a lot of cards. Um, we have Endray's Forerunner, Forerunners <laughs> up at the top end. And the Great Henge as well. Fairy formation is pretty sweet whenever you have extra mana. If you have a whole bunch of extra mana, it's just four mana. You get to draw, it's, you know, it's basically four mana draw card, but you also make a 1-1 one, one flyer each time um, as well. So yeah, a lot of card draw and card advantage up at the top end and a lot of ramp to help get us there. And Kiora can draw a bunch of cards as well. So that that's, seems like a pretty good way to win games of Brawl. Let's see how it goes. So let's see, Wednesday Brawl with Kiora. All right, let's play some games. Is there, there's not a way to import Brawl decks in the Brawl format on Stream Decker, uh, but like, I still have, you know, like you have the deck list on Stream Decker. All you have to do is, you know, you import it and then you just change the format to Brawl and then just whatever card's the commander, like Kiora's the commander, you just move it over to the commander. So that's all you have to do. It's it's fairly easy. Frogify is going to be a good one for Torbran. I probably shouldn't have kept this hand. I need to remember in Brawl you get a free mulligan. I need to remember that and start like actually using that. Come on, light up the stage. Darn. I wanted to negate here. <clears throat> That's what I was hoping to do. Let's dive right into battle. What's up, Hawkeye? You gonna come up here? Every day should be Brawl Day. I guess their thinking is they're trying, they're kind of trying to make it feel like a. One drop ripples and grows. Like a local store kind of thing. They would have like Brawl on one day. Alright, so I'm either playing Beast Whisper. No, I'm casting this thing. We need to hit land drops. No, import your deck first. Yeah, Im just import your deck. And then, like, where you have the deck title, when you're looking at the deck, you can click over there and you can change what type of deck the deck is and just change it to a Brawl deck. And then after you change it to a Brawl deck, move over, move over your commander from your deck. Let 
Let's get moving. Yeah, Deckmaster is still not working. Oh, I'm not saying that I agree with their with their reasoning for having one just one day a week with Brawl because yeah, it's it's online. It should be every single day. I'm just saying what I believe their reasoning was. So yeah, getting rid of that Tor brand is pretty important. Uh oh. I had an Ember Cleave in my Domri deck. Out of all five games and all the cards we drew, I never saw it. I did have an Ember Cleave in there. If they just active <clears throat> if they just activate castle sorry if they just activate castle I die that also kills me I guess that puts me down to one but whatever we're Essentially dead. All right. Well, that that game I didn't mulligan, and I needed to mulligan. My hand was not good enough against a red deck. I needed to mulligan. I, I didn't really pay attention to what I was playing against, honestly. I was just like, okay, cool. We have Guardian Project. We got Beast Whisperer. We're going to draw a lot of cards. It's good. And then after I kept realizing, oh, wait, we're playing against a red deck, and this hand's not good enough. So I needed to mulligan. Um, this is definitely a lot better. So that, that was the problem with that game more than, than any individual card was I didn't mulligan. Yeah, we got turn two Kiora. I could also just, you know, play the Leafkin on turn two so then we don't have to use the food yet with the Goose. That's a great mill for my opponent, putting three artifacts over there. I'm just going to play the Leafkin. That was a really good mill. Especially Mana Rock, Mana Rock. I'm going to start casting Mana Rocks now. Oh, it was four artifacts. I didn't even notice the Midnight Clock was an artifact, too. So, yeah, they had four artifacts, including three Mana Rocks, including the Midnight Clock. Wow, that was even better than I thought. And I thought it was great. But it was even better than great. Are 
Are you kidding me? Is this just going to be another counterspell deck? Ugh. Gross. This is a scrabbling clause. Basically, it doesn't do anything. I can pay one and sack it to draw a card. Exile one of their cards. They, yeah, they don't really want to exile their artifacts. I'm honestly pretty surprised they, they grabbed Guild Globe and not Heraldic Banner. It seemed like if they wanted to keep two mana up, it would make a lot more sense to grab Heraldic Banner. Such a perfect Emery. Those who cannot perceive can put thoughtfulness before action. Of haste creatures, a questing beast. I didn't I didn't tap that very well with the bond of flourishing by tapping the the island Hmm So the bond of flourishing sees three creatures the drawn from dream sees seven lands Meditate and prepare. Hey, young PZ. Haven't figured out Brawl yet. Man, that Emery was so perfect. Give him these four artifacts that were all really valuable.
Emery's a pretty cool commander. I can't really play Krasis to try to draw cards. You know, we don't get to draw extra cards with this Narset over here. You have an every deck you really like? Nice. They're playing all this stuff for free because of, of Ugin's passive ability. Having the colorless spells cost two less to cast. Flood Tears looked really nice with that. I wish I had Flood Tears in my standard artifact deck. Do that. I don't have much hope, but my only hopes in Endre's Forerunners. I don't have much hope. Doesn't look like my opponent's playing very many counters, but they they just had like the. Basically, they they just had a really good hand. <laughs> uh, Emery milled over like their mana rocks for them. They had just like their two counters there for my Kioras. Just every, everything worked out for them. That's the story of me playing Brawl so far, though. Really hope Arena fix these performance issues that they said in their state of the program today that they fix stuff for the update in eight days. Really hope so. Manifest before you. Yeah, the game the game's over. Um Yeah, we don't really have a shot. All right, we'll move on. Whoops. All right, Owen two.
Why does my stream lag? Because my internet and my computer can't handle Arena, I guess. I I don't have a favorite commander in Brawl. <laughs> I haven't I haven't won with anything. Uh, yeah, I don't have any favorite commander in Brawl. Okay, good mulligan. This hand looks a lot better. I thought our last hand looked pretty good, though, too. So we'll have Arcane Signet on two. Kiora plus Bond of Flourishing on three. And then we can start dropping Questing Beasts and Cavaliers and stuff. I just want to play this first before we play Questing Beast and, and Cavalier and everything. Hmm. I want a Spark Double. Yeah. You like you rock yourself? Cool. The next BNR announcement is on Monday, November 18th. Yeah, um, okay, so they, they didn't go with Royal Scions. So they went with Royal Scions. I was going to be going with Questing Beast, but I guess they want to get that instant in the graveyard for the Arcanist to be able to recast. I've got that sinking feeling again. Obviously, they have a shock. Like this isn't this isn't standard. This is brawl where you can only have one of each card. So they have like their one opt, opt and their one shock <laughs> cards to cast with this thing. Hands pretty good. Yeah, I can't complain. This is a good hand for me. Right, later on my opponent can pump the Royal Scions with or Arcanist with the Royal Sounds, yes, but I'm just saying for right now. You know, like they had they had one mana spells to be able to double cast for right now. Because you know they didn't didn't play Royal Sounds. This looks very good for us, though. Huh. I guess they didn't have... Basically, do I want Neoform or not? We have no six mana creatures in here, so nothing. We have nothing to neoform from five to six. That's weird. All right, so I guess we'll say no to neoform.
Good chance I should just be letting Kiora die to Terramander and attacking with Cavalier there. I want to be able to have Negate available, which is why I played Questing Beast. Um, thought about Spark doubling Cavalier. But I just went with the Questing Beast. I think that Questing Beast plus Spark double Questing Beast could be really powerful. All right, we got to win. Cool, Guru, you, you just played the Nicol Bolas deck that we're going to have later, and you won your first match? Awesome. Yeah, that's Storm, that Storm's deck there. Okay, we're one and two. Jeez. All right, we got a game. Uh, so I would like Fabled Passage for Forest and then go Forest, Barkhide. So turn two, Barkhide, turn three, Kiora, turn four, play Yorvo, draw a card. Is that good enough? We're on the draw against Tajik. But, I mean, Barkhide and Yorvo are both good blockers, so let's give this a try. I don't think we really have, like, better two and three mana blockers. Obviously, right now, I can't play Yorvo on three as it stands. That's a... Not a good card to draw. Don't want to draw our 8 mana card here. I don't I didn't see that card Funder Wonk, but that doesn't sound like anything that will see much play in standard. Need Kiora to stay around to be able to play Yorvo. This not being able to play Yorvo situation's not helping me. I don't I don't think I don't really know what I'm supposed to be doing here. I guess I draw a card, but like Krasis can't even block right now because this thing's actually a 3-3 three because three it's gonna get mentored onto. And the Tajik has first strike. 
I mean, I think that's better than frogifying. Frogifying doesn't really do anything because they just, whatever I frogify, they just put, they just mentor onto that thing and make it bigger again. Good thing is our life total is high since they attacked Cure last turn. It's our saving grace. Hey, what's up, Land Garner? I think my least favorite card in this deck by a long ways has been this Endra's Forerunners. This just doesn't look like a a card that's ever gonna be important. Roalesk was awesome here. That was a great card. So I feel like it. So, like, Andre's Forerunners, I guess, is only good against, like, the really slow decks. But even against those decks, I feel like we have, like, a whole lot of card advantage and everything that we can probably win without this 8-mana card. But there's just, you know, we're just facing, like, these aggro decks, too, where this is just a dead card. So I'm not liking it. At least they've exiled four lands for me. Okay. You're going to go here. You're going to go here. Um, neither of those, yeah, these, well, I can't, I can't kill Boros Challenger because of its ability to pump. It's like blocking Boros, I can't, I just can't kill Boros Challenger. And Tajik being able to gain first strike, um, figured if they had a pump spell with gain, giving that thing first strike. Would have been really rough, but I guess if they just have a pump spell, I'm going to be di dying anyway, so I guess I should have just blocked Tajik, but... Also, just blocking Tajik, they just play it again the next turn, too. You know, it's not like they have the mana, so they just replay Tajik, so it doesn't even get off the battlefield. Yeah, I mean, we have to double spell. I mean, we have to, like, Frogify and Cavalier, but we can't. Maybe I find a Gilded Goose. Hey, new little book, new but loco. I'm doing good. Well, the reason why I kept my hand is because we had Yorvo, which is a really good blocker against Boros. But after drawing a whole bunch of islands, <laughs> it didn't work out. It's like the, the most important card in my hand is that Yorvo, and we never got to play it, unfortunately. Yeah, Bond of Flourish is a pretty strong card. I like that card, too. So we're facing Liliana. Uh, sorry, Liliana Dreadhorde General. Okay, so they're 
<clears throat> Presumably a slower deck with a six mana commander, but they're also mono black, so it should have a lot of removal spells with mono black. I mean, I have like you know Pixel into Kiora into Drawn from Dreams to hit more land drops. Like that's that's awesome. The only thing that we're that I'm worried about here is they kill Pixel Pixie. They kill the Pixie because they're mono black. They have removal, and then I keep, don't really have mana for Kiora, and I just get stuck on lands. So I'm gonna mulligan. This is the same situation, but worse. But it's not a free mulligan anymore. Whoops. Not you. You. The first one was a free mulligan, though. So, like, with the free mulligan, I, I mulliganed it. But that same thing could have happened with the first hand, also. Gosh. Our curve is just way too high. These, What are you doing? Nonsense. Yeah, Liliana is our opponent's commander. Hey, hey, Nixel. Yeah, I think that um, I think that deck's probably just fine as is for best of one. I think that's fine, fine as is. Have to be a temple. If we had an untapped land here, I could play Kiora and hold up negate for Liliana. But of course, it's a temple. I think mass manipulation is just too powerful of a card to discard. Still. I'm gonna keep the Andres Forerunner so we can discard it. Like if, if we have to discard something. This isn't your average zombie horde. Impressive, isn't it? I 
All right, well, it's only been 41 minutes. Let's play one more. This being a donation deck, but I'm going to play another one. I think what I've kind of learned through our first two decks so far is not having inter any interaction is not a good plan. <laughs> yeah, we've had a, a lot of bad luck. I, I don't know what's with what's with me and Brawl. Um, the previous times when we've played Brawl, like my record's always been like this too. I don't have any luck at all with this format. I don't know. All right, so I like it. My opponent's playing like the, you know, like the the true Brawl commander there with Corvold. Uh, no, not you. Yeah, there you go, you. This is my best hand so far. Golgari Queen. Time to step out of the I guess the day you're what? They didn't kill Kiora? Really? I love to make a splash. Ooh, we finally got to a, a land drop over there. This, this Thor Mammoth may be important to try to get rid of this Corvold. It's my worst card. I think Barkhide Troll is my worst card. I don't think I'm ever going to use this Barkhide Troll. Now we're past that part of the game. I was thinking we weren't going to hit a land drop there. I was looking rough for a little bit there. Fires. Say hi to my fiery friends. No, are you what? Uh, I want to put both those on the bottom. I ebb and flow with battle. Sacrifices must be I mean, the shifting ceratops would not have been that bad. I guess. <laughs> Ugh. I definitely didn't want this negate. In the slightest. Hmm. My pets are hungry, and you look like 
One drop ripples and grows. Hopefully we draw land. Okay, good. Let's get moved. We'll see if this this negate does anything. See if this negate does something. They're probably playing Corvold though. This turn. Maybe not. That'd be awesome if they didn't. Don't worry. Because Corvold they get to draw even more cards whenever they sacrifice these things. Yep. All right, so Corvold's going to be a... Okay, so just a 6-6, because they're just sacrificing those two things. What are you? You're a 6-6? Six, six? The ocean surges, life thrives. So I could untap the Yorvo, but that would bring that cure down to two loyalty, where if they <clears throat> like have Vraska kill Yorvo, then they'd they'd have these two one ones could kill the Kiora. <laughs> it was seven mana removal that drew two cards also though. Yeah, it would have been nice to have this one first. But destroy a creature with flying before spending the seven mana on that, but you don't always get what you want. Up. Rankle just looks incredible every time my opponents play it. Alright, so they do know they can kill Kiora. I figured that out. So we're going to be using the volley this turn to kill that flyer. Let's 
Nature flows with vigor. I've been thinking of including on tappers like Kiora and Hallway Monitor with the Witch's Oven Cauldron Familiar deck. Um, hallway Hallway Monitor is not is not strong enough to to play. You could play Kiora, but you you really need you really need four power creatures also with that. Um, yeah, basically, I, I don't I don't think you should really play either. I don't think that they really make the Witch's Oven friends. combo better. As opposed to just playing better cards that your opponent has to interact with. So I wouldn't really recommend either one. No, we don't have a Lotus Field in here. So I held on to the volley in case they would have played the Corvold again. If they just need a land drop, then they would have like I would have rather killed the Corvold. This has been, you know, like my opponent having, you know, Spark Harvest, Vraska, like they've they've been able to kill my things and I can't kill their things too well. It's tough. So seven mana. Just play a flyer and hold up negate. They're just gonna play Corvold again. They can kill the Krasis with Vraska or with minusing Chandra. Like that's the thing. If I, you know, just play like one of these things, they just minus the Chandra and get the Spark Harvest back. Go get him, buddies. I, I, I don't have a chance. Yeah, mass manipulation. Yeah, that 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 could be a card. Yeah, that that's a card that could actually help us. We could manipulate for two right now. We could take Corvold plus, like, Chandra so they could stop using that thing. Or Vraska or something. Good. I won't forgive this.
whenever you sacrifice, okay. Well, they said good game, so assuming they can kill us. They didn't minus Chandra for the Spark Harvest again. Sometimes sacrifices. I sure hope they have fixed. performance issues with the the update on the 21st they were bragging about it in the in the article the state of the program like well by bragging about it they said that because we're going to get a friends list also on the 21st they're like with with significant improvements then uh, i must go with significant improvements in performance, we're going to try adding a friends list now. So yeah, that's lethal. All right, so didn't do too well with QR there. Feels like we need more interaction for the opponents and less of a top end. Just, it just felt like we just had way too many cards that cost five plus mana that were just always stuck in my hand. Like, like this top end is just too much. And just inter didn't interact with the opponent. Um... So I don't know exactly what to do there with Simic for the for that kind of stuff. But that was the problems with the deck. Lots of card advantage here though, but um and the, like there's only 24 land, so a lot of times hitting hitting land drops was kind of tough with only 24 land. I think this like with how how expensive the cards are here, I would like more like 26 lands than 24 lands. Um, Frogify was one of our best cards. Negate was really bad. I wish we had like better counter spells, or I don't know. We just we just kept on having Negate, and my opponent would just keep playing creatures. That happened a bunch. There is the one sabotage, I suppose. Um, yeah, there could be another Kiora. Yeah, because Kiora originally was Theros. So yeah, we're returning to Theros. That that could be a thing. Could be another Kiora. Um. So yeah, I guess that's what I have to say about our Kiora Brawl deck here. Um, I think I think we need like two more lands, and we need more interaction, like more counter spells. You know, like stuff like Disdainful Stroke could be nice. I don't know, some ways to get like Planeswalkers off the battlefield, like more bounce stuff, like Brazen Borrower. Like why don't we have Brazen Borrower? You know, like I don't know, just things like that. We need stuff like that. Okay, uh, you have no trout that Kiora could do better next time. <laughs> um, me too. Yeah, Tail's End. Yeah, Tail's End is probably just like the best counter spell in Brawl. It's probably just a, a better negate. Um, that's true. Cause yeah, Tail's End counters um, all the legendary permanents which people play in Brawl. Okay, uh, all right, if you're watching on YouTube, you know what to do. Hit that like button. Uh, leave some comments as well. You know, if you're playing Kiora, let me know what you're doing. I know, like, whenever we played Brawl before, a couple weeks ago, a lot of people said that they were playing Kiora and having a lot of success with it. So if you if you do have your own Kiora deck, feel free to post it in the comments over there on YouTube as well. But thank you so much for watching some Brawl action here, and I'll see you for the next video.